Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're going to check out some of Everslot. Now I say some of because there's a lot to this game. And what I'm going to show you is just a very small portion of it. Um, I will say I've played a lot of this at this point, and I really want to love this game. There's something kind of holding me back, and I'm not sure what. Uh, let's go through and see if I figure out what that is and see if you enjoy it. So we are currently in a temple of sorts uh, that leads to a, a, a dungeon. Um, first thing I want to point out is the graphics look amazing in this game. Uh, I am playing using the standard streaming or regular mode. There is a streamer mode that does kind of like an extended wide field of view uh, that I could show more of the picture. but. I feel like that's kind of uncomfortable to look at because it looks a little distorted. Uh, so I'm playing just with the standard kind of camera angle. So if you imagine like you're looking at a four to three image versus a 21 by nine image um, in headset, uh, it's just beautiful looking at like the scarves up there, uh, kind of as banners and, and, and a little bit of the wind and the sun peeking down through into this temple. Uh, this is sweet. Um, so one of the things you've got here is a grappling hook. Uh, these canisters are blood that you collect along the game as, as you're playing. You also get different weapons and swords. I'll go over there and, and, and show you. I don't really have any good weapons right now. What this is doing is unlocking that door down there so we can jump into a dungeon in just a moment. The other thing I want to mention is this game does not work very well in virtual desktop. That's why I've got a cable connected to my Quest 2 headset right now. Uh, but I just have some junky swords over here. Like this is a common 1 to 10 short sword. Uh, I also have it set to just one time holding it. Selects it. You know, I'm going to go in without a sword. I feel like... We'll just leave that sword here for now. We're gonna go all the way back up here. We're gonna dive in. There we go. So now we are in a dungeon. The dungeons last 15 to 20 minutes usually. We have a gun right now that we can use. We do not have a sword. I did not bring a sword in with us. So whatever is about to happen is about to happen. He may just simply die. Uh, but let's see. Uh, these dungeon runs are different every time, but they are all around the same length. There's these gears in the wall here. I'm not sure what they're meant to encapsulate. Usually in the first room here, I'm gonna go down into the dungeon. usually a couple of characters and then in the next room there will be Let's see if we can just do this and then that boom he's dead he didn't give me any blood yet interesting all right so let's do that again did he give me some blood no okay that's gonna be a problem if i don't get any blood um well, without a sword, we're running out of blood. Got two shots left. Hopefully we'll find a treasure shortly. Otherwise this is going to be a very short lived run. Wow. Well, we are out of blood. Um. Oh. It's an interesting way to kill him, but we got a little bit of blood out of him. Alright, let's, uh. Can we aim at those? No. 
So I can't break any of the pots either. This this is actually way more challenging than I expected it would be. Just because I made it that way. Um, and I started a level off. We are going to probably die, but that's okay. Yeah, let's see if we run. We get past all these guys and go into the next room. This is way more than I expected here. Uh, there is a dude here that's going to probably kill us, but that's okay. Because we now have, hopefully, oh crap, there's not even a weapon. Uh-oh. Uh. So this gamble of coming in without a weapon was both unintelligent and fatal. As we come in here, this is actually the end point of the level, essentially. This is where the final battle would take place. We're gonna run around and try to find a sword. And instead we're just gonna get creamed. Is there anything up here? No! Wow! This is the worst luck we could have ever had on a run. So this time we've got this nice sword we're going to take in with us. Godspeed to us. Back downstairs again. This time we have a weapon. Now these guys tend to stay with along a border, as you can see. So I can just keep backing up like this and not take any damage. Hopefully. Let's see if it gives me some more blood. And I think this is one of the reasons that I kind of don't care for the gameplay. Like, they will not swarm me. As long as I'm beyond that threshold, they'll stay in place. I didn't use any blood. I gained some blood that I can't really... It doesn't really gain anything if it's already full. These guys, same thing's gonna happen. Check this out. Ready? Hey, how's it going? So there's some archers, so that, that will make a difference. It's almost completely dead. You can see I just waggled there to kill that guy. Get the blood flowing! This guy. Completely dead. How's it going? How's it going? Yeah! Just some gold. It's so strange because I'm used to having an opportunity for weapons in those chests, and it's now two runs in a row where there's no weapon in, the, in this lower chest. How's it going? Come, come, come a little closer. It's a little closer. It's a little, 
Oh, is that where you stop? Okay. Oh, you're gonna run away? I'm sorry. Come on. Somebody? Over here. Yeah, thanks. You guys are great. Dear friends. Your buddy's dead. I'm sorry. Not really. Holy mist! I'm sorry. So yeah, that, I think, is what stops me from loving this game. Here's something I do love about the game, though, is you can smash all of these pots, just like in Legend of Zelda. I haven't found any cuckoos, or chickens, as it were. Like these guys, just stand here. I'd rather have a bit better UI. Or AI, rather. Um, a bit better enemy AI would be great. Uh, this game is super early access, though. Uh, I believe they're, they're still continuing to build this, and, and there's plans for it to be a much larger game than it currently is. You jerk. Alright, so I'm gonna... I don't need to heal up yet. I was gonna heal up, but... I'm okay. Oh, there you are. So we are gonna heal up. I'll show you how to how to heal. Just like that. It's almost like steampunk. In a way. How's it going? Don't worry, your blood is important. Thank you for the donation. Thank you for all these pots to smash, too. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Can't complain. And there is a chest over here. It may have something cool in it. Ooh, there's something cool! Beautiful sword. The kind that I would like to take with me. Maybe make better. That's a stone. I don't want to hit that. But I do want to smash some more bombs. Now I want to wreck some enemies on the border of there area. As you can see, it's just stuck there. Can't come any closer. Homie, over here. Check it. You too? I hear one. Is it just you? Dude, you're totally dead. Put you out of your misery. How is he still hitting me? Unfair. I think he's a little bit more damaged than he's letting on. We got a 7 of 13. That's not a very good uh, number in the long run, though. Because this one's got an 88% threshold here. I'm gonna go this way first. Let's have some pots to smash. I don't know what's going on with that dude over there. It's like. He's hurt for no reason. Hey, how's it going? Bring your friend over. Hey! Over here! Yeah? What you doing? Is 
So he's got two attacks. That's one. See if we can get him to do the other one. There's the other one. So we've got another swing. Yep, there it is. There's the other swing. There's a single swing. Two attacks. Do the second one. There it is. Look at all that blood. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. That dude is still screaming over there. I killed him. He should be dead. I don't know what happened there. Here we go. And once you pass the threshold, it turns red like that. That's the end game, basically. We're now... about to take on the entire horde here. So far, so good. Alright. New guy. Coming next. Which of you fine folks wants to come down here? Do you want me to go up there? Is that is that is that it? Is that really what you want? Oh, convenient. Nice dismemberment there. How are we doing? Lots of death. I'm assuming those guys don't want to die for some reason. That's fine. Okay. Kill all three? Good. So they're dead. I'm assuming I need to go upstairs. Hmm. 
Maybe? How's it going, man? Same two attacks, right? More attack. Yeah, there you go. Took off some more of your armor. How's it going? Coming this way? Yeah. Okay, that's your one attack. Come at me. Come at me. Come this way. Single attack. Single attack. He's dead. That was pretty cool. He's a little dead. And I think this is the way out. Yeah. So what I want to do first, because I don't want to lose this other sword, is let's get rid of the crappy sword. Um, hold on compare the two. How, how this became so much lesser of a sword than I expected kind of bothers me, but that's all right. Let's see what we get as a trinket here. We get three more blood orbs. All right, I'll take that. And uh, that should be that. Exit out over here. And that's a run through Everslot's dungeon. So I do want to say the first hour of Everslot is actually really cool. You go through the town getting to this temple. It feels like a full-fledged adventure game. And then you get here and you just rinse and repeat a lot here. Uh, yes, the enemies get a little bit more complicated, but as you can see, their AI is kind of easily outwitted. Um, I'm hoping the game gets a little bit better. Uh, I love the graphics. I love the kind of gameplay that it offers. It feels a bit like classic hack and slash games, but in VR. And I've been looking and hungry for one of those types of game. This is that. This is Everslot. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye bye now.